Hi everyone, uh, so this is chapter 3 and I'm going to discuss about the uh, chapter 3 that what are the different types of error and how we can handle these errors in our calculations. So it is a sort of review because I have already discussed in my lectures uh, about what are the different types of error and how they are generated in, in detail. So it is a very quick review and I will also try to solve one example uh, in, in this part so actually this lecture is composed of two parts in, in the first part we have uh, we have something about the Maclaurin series and some different types of round of errors and in the second part we will talk about the uh, chopping errors and how we can uh, I mean control these errors by increasing the number of digits or what are the different ways so I will discuss in detail so whenever we use any numerical method uh, and when we try to obtain solution using numerical method it results in uh, some sort of approximation so how we can handle these approximation and how we can understand that our values are close to the true solution or not because in many cases we don't have the uh, analytical or the true values so in that case we have to understand that whether our solution is uh, accurate or not or how many iterations or how many number of terms we have to use in order to get the required solution okay uh, before moving to that I want to discuss about uh, accuracy and precision accuracy is something uh, that how close is your value to the true or correct value that is known as accuracy for example if the true answer is 10 so how much is your value compared to that value if you your value is also 10 it's accurate but if your value is 7 6 5 then it is not accurate and what is precision precision means how close is your value to the previous value for example if you are doing any experiment or any measurement and you have different values so in, in that case you have to uh, look that whether these values are close to each other or not for example if you are doing one experiment and every time you are getting a value 6 6.5 6.35 6.25 so these values are precise but if the true solution is 10 so maybe these values are wrong but not uh, we, we can uh, we can say that these values are precise but not correct so an inaccuracy is opposite of accuracy if your value is not close to the true solution it is inaccuracy and uh, the uncertainty is like uh, is the inverse of precision that how your values are scattered from one to another for example if you do one trial you get 10 in the other trial you get 15 and and so on so this is a figure you can see this figure for example this first case a in in this case the values are uh, neither accurate nor precise because these values are not close to the center and these values are also not close to each other so in case b the values are accurate but not precise accurate mean they are close they are going close to the center in, in in some sort of uniform pattern but these values are not precise because these values are not close to each other and the case c the values are neither precise as uh, the values are neither correct but precise because these values are very close to each other so these values are precise but not correct and in case of d the values are precise and accurate as well okay next the significant figures so significant figures are those digits which we can use with confidence which we have no doubt about their values that they are neither rounded nor chopped or nor not approximated so for example if you see uh, this 5.38 into 10 to the power of 4 so in that case if you have this information you don't know that whether beyond uh, 3.81 there is any uh, there is any value or anything because there is no information given so in that case you can say the significant number of digits are 3 in the second case you have a value after uh, 0 but you have no information after this so you can say that they are the 4 
uh, numbers that have been given to you and you are confident about these numbers so these there are the four significant figures and same way five but in this case as there is no information added after three so we cannot say that what is beyond three i mean whether this value beyond three are chopped or like rounded or or actually there is no information about that so in that case we can say these values are uh, there are four significant digits for all these three cases now what what is uh, the definition of true error true error is actually the difference between true value and the approximate value for example you did you did an experiment and in that experiment the true value is 10 and the approximate value is 9 so it result an error of 1 okay so and then how you can calculate true fractional relative error just divide the true value the true error by true value for example if the true error is 1 and the true value is 10 so it will result uh, a true fact a true fractional relative error of 0 0.1 and if you just multiply this by 100 you will get true percent relative error and that will be 0 0.1 into 10 into 100 will be 10 percent and this is the approximate error in in most of the cases in numerical methods we have uh, this type of error so what is this error uh, in order to calculate the approximate error you have a number of trials or you have a number of terms and how you can calculate the approximate error by subtracting the current well val current value minus previous value or, or by subtracting the previous value from the current value and divided it by the current value so if you multiply this by 100 it will be the percentage uh, relative approximate error so this is how you can uh, calculate the approximate error by subtracting the previous iteration from the current iteration for example as i discussed the example of an experiment you did the experiment three times the first time you did the value was nine the second time you did the value was eight the third time you did the value was seven so how much is the approximate error for the first case from nine to eight it is nine minus eight and then the second case it is 8 minus 7 or I mean uh, if you go the other way it will be the will be the minus because if your current value is 7 and the previous value was 8 so it will be minus divided by the current approximation uh, or the current value and multiplied by 100 so in most of the cases we have uh, this uh, approximate error and we can estimate uh, the values or our uh, judgment that how much is the error either I mean it is going up or down so based upon that we can continue the number of trials or adding the number of terms uh, as the example is giving the Mac series or Maclaurin series we will discuss in detail okay so it is very important for example this epsilon s this value it actually gives you uh, gives you the acceptable approximate error and n is the number of significant figures for example in this expression this n is the number of significant figures for example if you have two significant figures then the acceptable approximate error is 0 0.5 and if you decide three significant figures then the acceptable error will be 0 0.5 percent 0.05 percent so uh, you keep on calculating the approximate error and once your values once your values of approximate percentage error relative percentage error are lesser than uh, this acceptable values of epsilon s so that time i mean you can stop your iteration and you can say that this is the uh, value which is very closely true value or within the acceptable range okay so let's solve uh, example 3.2 what is this example 3.2 this example is uh, given in book in our textbook this is chapter 3 of numerical methods for engineers i discussed in my previous lecture about this textbook so there is an example 3.2 okay yeah this one so what we have to do in this example I explain you in in summary that uh, 
this is the McLaurin series McLaurin series and in this McLaurin series there are indefinite number of terms for example after this you can add x4 over 4 factorial and x5 over 5 factorial and so on so what is required the required is to find out the value of to uh, value of e raised to the power 0 0.5 it means we have to estimate the value of uh, uh, of e when x is equal to 0 0.5 okay we can directly calculate this value by using your calculator or by using because you know the value of e itself is 2.71 so if you just put 2.71 this is the power 0 0.5 you will get the answer but we want to use this series not the direct calculation or the true method we want to use this series in order to calculate the uh, value of e raised to the power 0 0.5 and in this uh, example the, the information is given you can take three significant figures so if you calculate the three significant figures you can have uh, the acceptable error that is 0 0.05 percent okay so now uh, I would prefer to use uh, Microsoft Excel in order to solve this example for example what is the first thing first thing I would add say the number of terms the number of terms let me uh, increase this size okay number of terms for example what does it mean the number of terms like this is the first term this is the two terms then three terms four terms so uh, how many terms we we are going to consider in order to calculate the value of epsilon x okay so the number of terms for example here you can say it's like uh, one and then you can have like one plus one so two and so on so let's add, uh, take 10 terms at the moment and see what happens and then we have to calculate the value of ex so here uh, instead of putting ex first I should mention how, how much is the value of x so for all these cases the x will remain same only the number of terms will change for example in this case all these cases the x will remain same but just I will change the number of terms number of term, terms and then uh, I can cast sorry I should I want to center it okay this as well okay so now uh, I want to calculate ex so how I can calculate by using this series for example if I use just one term for example if I do uh, if I just use one term for that case it, it's it's known that if it, it is if just one term is used it's equal to one but there's no need to write any expression but for this case I'm going to write an expression for example in this case what will be the ex for example if you use two terms so it will be the uh, the previous term for example this one plus this so if you use two terms if you use three terms it will be the previous value of ex plus this one and if you want to use four terms then the previous value of ex plus that so how I can do that in Excel just this value plus here now it is actually x raised to the power n minus 1 for example n are the number of terms divided by factorial divided by n and factorial for example in this case now we have two number of terms so n is 2 so the power of x is actually 1 so 1 divided by 1 factorial so how I can do that in in this Excel it will be x raised to the power this is n minus 1 all divided by factorial this is the command FACT factorial factorial n minus 1 for example in this case now it will be just uh, 1.5 it should be 1.5 so it is 1.5 and then how I can calculate the value here the previous value this one plus same thing uh, 
if you want me to write the expression I can write it again for you x raised to the power n minus 1 this is n minus 1 divided by factorial this is the function for factorial n minus 1 so let's see so it is 1.625 so it means that if you use three number of terms your answer will be 1.625 and if you use two terms it will be 1.5 and if you use one term so if n is 2 the answer is 1.5 if the n is 3 so the answer will be 1.625 and now just I just control C and I control V so you can see that my answer is going on increasing and uh, this is EX and now how I can calculate the approximate error approximate error by just subtracting in this case I, I cannot calculate because I don't have the previous value the approximate error will be approximate error I can call it EA as well is equal to for this case we can calculate the current value minus previous value so if you want to convert into the percentage then you can divide it by the current value multiply by the 100 so you will get the uh, percentage I should write here percentage approximate error okay so I just want to shrink this cell because it's occupying a little bit more space okay let me uh, use the other one because it's now the size is very small so I just use wrap text instead of shrink okay and then I should center this one okay it's now center okay so this is the approximate error for this case if you just do the same thing control C control V you will get the uh, percentage approximate error and you, you can see that the percentage error is keep on decreasing and when it reaches to this value here it is 0.15 percent and how much was the acceptable error it is 0.05 percent so for the number of terms when this error the approximate error will become lesser than this value that will be the acceptable error for example if you see here it is 0.15 still greater than 0.05 but in this case it is less than 0.05 percent so we can say that if you if we use six terms or greater than six terms our values will be acceptable values and you can also if you have the true value for example if you have the true value how you can calculate the true value true value is actually uh, the value of e 